Exactly. Okay, so what do we do? So the other thing is horrifying, it is that you could actually spray sulfuric acid in the stratosphere, 20 kilometers over our head, and use that to stop the planet warming up in a okay, kind wait, of you, ugly you, tech fix. You could you could spray something into the atmosphere to yeah. change. Okay, okay. Spray okay. pollution into the atmosphere to stop it warming. So in the end, pollution saved them all. <laughs> <laughs> we owe pollution. We owe acid rain an apology. Is what be you're saying? It would be a totally imperfect technical fix. Okay. It would have risks. It wouldn't get us out of the long run need to stop polluting, but it might actually save people and be useful. Okay, so how, again, I, I interrupted slightly there. How does it work? You take, you, how many planes are we talking about here? How do you do this? So let's say you wanted to stop it warming in 2020. Yeah, you yeah. start with a fleet of just two or three kind of modified business jets. Well, kind of like, like a G6? Yeah, like a G650. Like a G6. That's like it. a G6. And, yes. you, and you'd put, you'd put say 20,000 tons of sulfuric acid uh -huh. into the stratosphere every year. Uh -huh. And each year you have to put a little more. And this doesn't, in the long run, mean that you can forget about cutting emissions. We will need to rein in No, emissions. we'll get to it eventually, yeah. But it does. But in the meantime, we're shrouding the earth in sulfuric acid. So people are terrified about talking about this because uh -huh. they're scared that it will prevent us cutting emissions. Right, and also that it's sulfuric acid. <laughs> It is. You're bearing the lead. Is there any possible way this could come back to bite us in the ass? <laughs> Blanketing the earth in sulfuric acid, because I'm all for it. This is the all chocolate dinner. I still get to have my CO2, and I just need to spray sulfuric acid. Right? All over the earth. Right question. But we put 50 million tons of sulfuric acid in the air now as pollution, and it kills a million people a year worldwide. Okay, and that's and so good or bad? It's terrible. <laughs> but it'll be better if we put more in. We're talking about 1% of that, a tiny fraction of that. So we should reduce that sulfuric acid So if it pollution, kills a million people and we're only bad. doing 1% more, we're just killing 10,000 more people. You can do math. Okay. But that's, so, so killing people is not the objective here. <laughs> killing people, not the objective. objective I just objective wanted to be clear. I just actually, wanted to be clear. Actually, All right. Could an individual start this? In practice, only a country. Okay. What about a man in like a hollowed out volcano <laughs> with henchmen who occasionally shakes his fist at the sky and says, they said I was a fool at Harvard. Who's the fool now? It, it's, it's, it's the natural world. I shake your it's, I, I won't, you shake your fist and say the fools. It's the natural worry, but I think in the end, no. This would be done by major countries, but the problem is how countries agree about where to set the thermostat. Who decides? And my biggest reason for writing the book and for talking about it is my view that we won't make good decisions in humans. So we have that to if, make this, we have to have the discussion now so that when it becomes our last hope, people can say, hey, we talked about this. Remember, we said we get to do it. The worst <laughs> The worst way to make decisions about this would be if we all agree that we won't talk about it in polite society, we suppress it, which is basically what had been happening, and then in you know, 20, 30, suddenly in a crisis, we make fast decisions. Maybe My it's happening is, already. You ever look at those planes up there? They have contrails behind them? Maybe all those planes are the contrails. Maybe they're actually spraying chemicals into the atmosphere right now, and Uncle Sam isn't telling us. It seems extremely unlikely. The that fact the United the States is not telling something to its citizens? That seems extremely <laughs> likely to me. Read the newspaper. I think they might have your idea already. Dr. Mister, thank you so much. David Keith, a case for climate engineering. We'll be right back.